Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what I want to talk about, I have, I call it uh, true jumping dead seconds. They're all the same. Uh, Seconde Mort, you may have seen that. There, there are some watches that have the little tick like that. They used to call them physicians uh, watches for taking the pulse and they could do it with the jumping, what are called jumping seconds. Sometimes they're called true seconds and sometimes they're called uh, dead seconds or dead beats. Uh, those are all names that have been used. Um, I just call them jumping seconds. Uh, by the way, too, uh, if you want a jumping second, you don't want to pay much. Go get a cheap quartz because all of those are jumping seconds. Okay, let's, uh, what I want to do, I just, this is something I know that not, a whole lot of people are interested in, uh, but I am, and so I want to do two things. <laughs> One, introduce you to them quickly, and yet not take up a lot of time. I, some of you may find them really neat. We, we've talked about some of them already. Now, one group of them that I found recently is by Arnold and Son, and the, the only problem, I, I couldn't find the mechanism that they used, but uh, they have some very interesting watches. They have terrible names. <laughs> they use initials for them, uh, but I wanted to talk about them. First of all is the TBR, which is for True Beat and Retrograde. Uh, the uh, Wide Sweep Band is the Jumping Seconds. Arnold and Son also have one called the Central True Beat, CBT. And what this is, this has a sweep hand with a regular plus a jumping second or a true beat with it. So you have these going around with a, I, that sounds really like a lot of fun, a very interesting watch. Uh, by the way, too, the, the, the numbers are, the ones from Arnold & Son, they go down pretty quickly, which is good for us as collectors. We don't want them to stay high. This thing was 27500 but uh, I found a street uh, for close to half of that. So it's they, they do go down. And these are new. These are not the used ones. Now, this one is my very, very favorite. It's called the Dial Side True Beat, DSTB, by Arnold and & Son. And on the outside, right up there around uh, 9, 10, and 11 o'clock, uh, you can see the mechanism work. You, they have the little true seconds, is that little blue arrow, and it j j j j goes around, and you can see the mechanism that moves it, the uh, one with the little anchor that looks like an anchor on there. Um, the regular time is sort of a sideshow <laughs> to the whole thing. And these, uh, most of them from Arnold and Son come in gold and steel. I just looked at the steel prices because gold ones are pretty expensive. This one is uh, 32,555 MSRP. I found them as low as 10,400. So uh, these, this is one that I'm, I'm going to be keeping my eye on until there's somewhat lower. Now, another one I just discovered was Jacques Droz Grand Sicote Deadbeat. And uh, this has got the great big sweep pan all around is your dead seconds. And then the, uh, the lower of the two sub dials is your hand date. And then the top is your hours. So another one, uh, 19,400 is MSRP. I found them the street price for 13,192. They're hard to find. Uh, they, they're called uh, Jacques Droz uh, Grand Seconte Mort, but then they, to find them, you have to use deadbeat. So go figure, as they say. Now, this one is the Chasse Le Coutre Geophysics True Second. I've talked a lot about this, and this is one that is definitely on my list. And the thing that's interesting about this is that the uh, second rim and trois for the two seconds. And this is, I wanted a rim and trois. I couldn't afford one. And so uh, this is going to be my rim and trois if I can save up for it. Uh, the MSRP is 8800 The uh, street price, you can find it for 7200 Not a lot of drop, but a great price to begin with. Finally, is that this wonderful one, the Groenfield 1896-1 Hertz. We talked about this recently as part of the uh, Groenfeld, um collection. 
And what this one has is that it has two barrels, and one barrel uh, runs the giant sub-dial with the two seconds, and then the other one runs the time, that little, the little small sub-dial up around uh, two o'clock. Anyway, so if you're interested in jumping seconds, true seconds, or uh, dead seconds, or deadbeat seconds in a mechanical watch, these are some watches to take a look out for, and you can find others as well. Till next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collection.